All right, so you just heard the forecast for possibly higher winds on late Friday and then into Saturday. Many people saw and experienced scenes like this one over the past few days. Now the power company and communities are looking ahead to this weekend. Here's First News weekend anchor Megan Lee. Downed wires can still be found near the intersection of Shields Road and Raccoon Road. Something First Energy is still working on from last weekend's severe weather. To paint a picture of the extensive damage that we experienced, our crews in Ohio alone replaced more than 86,000 feet of downed power lines. That equals a little more than 16 miles. Lauren Seberkis with First Energy tells me that there could be some wires that haven't been removed yet. This was a wind event that we haven't seen in the, this area in the valley for about eight years in our area. So it was pretty significant in terms of the extent of tree related damage and the widespread outages. As far as preparations go for this weekend's potential storm, we had about 500 additional line personnel and other utility workers on site to assist our crews with power restoration efforts. And we have decided to keep them on standby in the event we do experience outages this weekend. We'll be ready to go. According to Sir Burgess, a lot of limbs fell this weekend and... If there's anything that positive that came from that last storm, it's, um, you know, the removal of um, potential, you know, threats to our system in the future. If some of these limbs are in your yard, Poland Township trustees have set up a free cleanup service for this weekend. We're not going to, like we said, have trees out there, you know, 500 logs. Just kind of clean your yard up, help you out, and just offer a service to the community. Ungaro says this service is only for residents that live on township roads. Branch debris will be picked up early Saturday morning. In Mahoning County, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.